Want to brighten up your scene with torches? Stay tuned. This video was sponsored by my kind supporters on Patreon. If you'd like to become a patron yourself, you can find my Patreon page on patreon.com slash teamwnj or in the description down below. What's up survivalists, it's Trey from Team WJ here to share how to add lights to your torches. Okay, to begin I need to ask you a question. Is realism a priority for you? If realism does matter, there are a few things that you should keep in mind. 1. Make sure there are no flammable surfaces like wood or wool next to the torch, because it'll catch fire, and that's not good. And 2. You need a separate texture for when the torch is off, for when, say example, it's raining, or when it's daytime when the torch can't or shouldn't be on. Now, moving on, I do care about realism, especially for Love Slayer, so I'll be sharing what I know with that in mind. Okay, so I'll be using this scene for my survival world because I'm on my laptop and I can't run my glorious- Okay, so anyway, I've imported my world from mine way using the default texture pack, no fancy connected textures this time, and look, here are all my torches. Cool. I'm gonna keep my external lighting fairly simple. All I'm gonna do is put an infinite light and call it a day. You can actually find an old video I did on external lighting right here. I have a new method of doing external lighting that I like a lot more, so I might remake that tutorial later on. Anyway, here's what it looks like with a base light in. It's dark. It is. It, it, it's really dark. Just like my soul. <laughs> now what I need you to do is go up here to display on the top part of the preview window and choose constant shading. It's gonna make your window look not as good, but here's why we did it. One, by default, Cinema 4D only renders up to eight lights maximum. So if you have more than eight torches, plus any other light sources like the external light, Cinema won't render all the lights for you in your preview window. Two, it's very hard to work with a dark scene. Hey, you there, watching the video right now, I want you to start thinking of stuff that you want to learn about and I want you to let me know at the end of this video. Start thinking now because we're almost done. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon while you're at it to stay notified when I upload a new tutorial to help you every Monday. Okay, now it's time to actually put in the lights. Click up here at this light bulb to create a light and we're going to change some settings right off the bat. Now I'm known to move very fast so make sure you pause the video if you want to catch up. Set the color to mild orange. This is completely up to you. I'm going to set my values up on screen if you want to follow them exactly. Set shadows to soft, visibility to volumetric, and check ambient illumination. Move over to the details tab and set fall off to inverse squared physically accurate. This is the secret to getting realistic lighting because it means the light won't go on infinitely and acts like a proper light. In the visibility tab, change the outer distance to 50 centimeters and change the Y relative scale from 150 to 200 percent. In the shadows tab, change the color to a darkish brown. You may want to set the opacity down to a 70 or an 80 percent. I'm going to keep it 100 percent for this video. Go into the noise tab and set the noise to both with a brightness of 40 to 60 percent. I'm using 40 percent for this video. And what this does is add a little variation to the light and the volumetrics to make it feel more natural. Let's move to your preview window now and you may want to use the four screen by middle clicking or clicking this icon up here. Hold shift to snap to tens and move your light right up to the top of your torch. I like to give around a 20 centimeter leeway on top of the torch. Cool, and that's one torch done already. If you don't like the shadow underneath this torch, go into the project tab of the light and drag the torch object into the exclude field. Then click on these two icons here. This basically enables illumination and reflection but disables shadow casting. Now to get this light onto your other torches, it's as simple as clicking on the axis handle, holding control, and dragging. You duplicate the light, and all you have to do is move to the correct position. Make sure you're holding shift as well so it snaps the tens. Repeat this for all your lights in your scene, and you're good to go. Hey, I need your attention again. Remember when I said earlier to think of stuff that you want to know? Hold that for just one more second and hear me out. Patreon is really important for the development of Levislear and the continuation of scheduled uploads on this channel. I'm considering giving out private one-on-one -on -one lessons on animation and editing through my Patreon too. So if you're interested, make sure to check that page out. Anyways, now's the time you head into the comments and let me know what you want to see next. Cheers!